um, I hope you guys are keeping yourself safe amid the virus and lockdown. Uh, I wish you all a very happy new year and the best hours. So, I'm Chanduka Adhikari from College of Natural Resources. Uh, what's this, guys? This looks like a magic stick, right? Yes, this is a magic stick. So, with this magic stick, I'm here to perform a magic uh, with which I will put everyone, the whole world into sleep. Just kidding guys, don't be afraid, don't be annoyed, don't be surprised, okay? With this magic stick, I will awake every one of us from one of the most important and dangerous disease called trypanosomiasis, which is known as sleeping sickness in humans. So, to begin with, uh, let me talk on introduction. It is an important disease of cattle and buffalo caused by parasitic protozoan trypanosomes of the genus Trypanosoma. It is transmitted mechanically by biting flies. Cattle and buffalo are reservoir hosts to horses and camels. Synonyms are Sura and Murian. In Africa, it is called Nagana. It is known as sleeping sickness in humans. It is considered fatal if it is not treated on time. Now, let's move on with epidemiology. The Democratic Republic of Congo is the most affected country by Trypanosoma gambensi. Till date, it has affected 37 countries mostly which is in Africa. Uh, this information was abstracted from World Organization for Animal Health 2013 and in Bhutan few cases were detected which were prevalent in the districts of Shemgang, Samti, Sarpang and Pimagatsal. Uh, the susceptible host of this disease are vertebrates, horses, cattle, humans, camels and dogs, wild animals and tsetse flies. Uh, here are the images of the flies, you can just have a look. Etiology In horses, it is mainly caused by Trypanosoma eventsi. It is caused by biting flies, tabernids and stable flies. In humans, it is caused by tsetse flies. Glucina genus and it takes two forms depending on the parasites. They are Trypanosoma gambensi and Trypanosoma rhodisensi. In cattle, it is caused by Trypanosoma brucei and Trypanosoma vivax. In pigs, it is caused by Trypanosoma suis. In equines, it is caused by Trypanosoma equinum and Trypanosoma acuperdum. In camels, it is caused by Trypanosoma eventsi. So let's have a look at the images below. The first image shows the um, Trypanosoma brucei, which affects the cattle. And the second image shows the image of Trypanosoma suis, which causes sleeping sickness in pigs. Third image Trypanosoma equinum, which causes sleeping sickness in equines, which is known as taurin. And the last image is the image of Trypanosoma eventsi, which causes sleeping sickness in camels. Now, let's talk about mode of transmission. The disease Trypanosomiasis is transmitted through the flies. Most of the species require intermediate hosts to complete their life cycle. Um, Trypanosomiasis is transmitted through saliva and fomites and it is also transmitted from blood from infected animals, uh, especially meat and milk which are sources of infection. Uh, here are the images, you can have a look. Pathogenesis. 
Firstly, there will be inflammatory reaction which occurs on site of the bite within few days. Trypanosomes multiply at the site of a bite which is called chancre. Parasite reaches regional lymph nodes. Uh, after that, there will be enlargement of the lymph nodes. The parasites is seen in the bloodstream. Uh, there will be fluctuating fever due to rise and fall in number of the trypanosomes. Anemia due to change in antibody production. Uh, there are three phases of parasitemia. Animals usually die due to congestive heart failure, which will which we will look later in the clinical and differential diagnosis. Clinical findings of uh, the incubation period ranges from 8 to 20 days. This information was abstracted from World Organization for Animal Health 2013. The other findings are, which can be seen are hemolytic anemia. Cattle appear to waste away. Death may occur in 2 to 2 months. I repeat, death may occur in 2 weeks to 2 months. Horses with taurine or sleeping sickness which is caused by trypanosoma equiperdum show sign of ventral and genital edema. Cats and dogs show systemic signs like rise in temperature and rise in blood pressure. Horses show enlarged lymph nodes and internal organs. The livers are congested and swollen. These two are the postmortem lesions. Diagnosis Diagnosis depends on the recognition of flagellate on a blood smear. Serological testing is also common. Thick and thin blood smears. Motile organisms may be visible in buffy coat when a blood sample is spun down. The image is below, you can just have a look. So, how can trypanosomiasis be differentially diagnosed? Through babesiosis, theliosis, anaplasmosis, hemorrhagic septicemia, and anthrax. Now let's talk about line of treatment. Which drugs can be used to treat trypanosomiasis? Diamilazine acetate is given IM at the rate 10 to 20 mg per kg body weight. Quinaparamine sulfate is given subcut at the rate 4.4 mg per kg body weight. Suramine is given IV at the rate of 6 to 10 mg per kg body weight. So the pictures as you can see below, the first photo is of diaminazine acetate and the second image cuneparamine sulfate and the third photo is of suramine. Prevention and control. Control fly population, sufficient ventilation and sunlight should be available in the shade. Reducing the reservoirs of the infection and TT flies. Use of trypanotolerant breeds for livestock. These are the references. Thought for the day. Viruses don't discriminate and neither should we. So, if you are under lockdown, you are not stuck at home, you are safe at home. I repeat. Viruses don't discriminate and neither should we. So, if you are under lockdown, you are not stuck at home, you are safe at home. Save yourself from sleeping sickness and COVID. So, here I am with this magic stick again. I just hope this magic stick will help every one of us stay away from sleeping sickness and COVID. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked my video, please do comment, share and subscribe.